AIH is a prototypical autoimmune disease. As you know, it can affect anyone and can lead to cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver transplant, depending on the diagnosis, treatment, and response to therapy. AIH is caused when the immune system is intolerant to the liver, but we don't know why this happens. We do believe, however, that various environmental exposures coupled with certain genetic risk factors is very important. In other autoimmune liver diseases like PVC or PSC for that matter, approximately 50% of disease risk has been attributed to the environment. And to date, viral infections and drug exposures provide the strongest support of environment in the development of AIH. Studies have linked a variety of viruses, including Epstein-Barr, varicella zoster, hepatitis A, B, C, and even hepatitis E to AIH. The finding of autoantibodies like anti-smooth muscle antibodies with these type of infections is well reported. These transient infections may cause AIH because molecularly, they may look similar to liver proteins or they may directly stimulate immune cells to be overactive. In an abstract presented at the International Liver Congress last year, a German group examined the finding of antibodies against hepatitis A, B, C, and E, as well as other herpes viruses and parvovirus B19 in AIH patients. The finding of these antibodies would identify patients who have been exposed to certain viruses. The study patients included 205 pediatric and adult patients with newly diagnosed AIH. The authors found that hepatitis E exposure was higher in AIH di diagnosed later in life, specifically beyond the age of 60. They also showed that antibodies to parvovirus B19 was significantly higher in pediatric AIH than compared to control patients. The problem is environment is inevitable. However, the better we understand the trigger of AIH, the better we will be able to treat it in the future. Thank you.